So just a quick thing before this video gets started. This took me 2 hours 29 minutes 29 seconds point nine one. So yeah, this took a little while to do. Uh, I am going to speed all of this up and edit it down. Well, not, I'm not going to cut anything out, but I am going to speed it up and make it so you're not sat here for fr uh, pretty much three hours uh, um, this entire time. I just wanted to say, I put a lot of time into this. Please don't be nasty in the comments. Just say, oh, you're a shit pixel artist. You should go kill yourself or whatever. Anyway. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I'm going to go uh, speed this up and then add some post-commentary. Bye-bye. Hello, and welcome back to another Pixel Art Sunday. It's been a while since I've done one of these, and I'm finally getting uh, back into them, and I should be um, doing one for every Sunday this month. Fingers crossed if I that I actually get that done. Um, but none of them are going to be as long as this, probably, because this... Took me a while, as you saw from that little intro bit, um, and it, uh, I have uh, sped everything up by times four, um, just so it didn't uh, take forever to get uh, this video done. And it was very hard to do because um, I had this uh, image uh, um, basically created. Uh, and I put it into like a um, a um, image to pixel art in Minecraft converter. I can't remember what it's called. Well, the problem is, it's a little bit out of date, and it doesn't have like concrete or anything like that. So um, the image itself was very, very ugly, um, and uh, not to mention the fact that um, the image uh, um, in the first place I used as a as um, it to, to convert into wasn't the best. Like um, you know, it looked fine, but um, uh, it wasn't like done to a really high standard. So I had to do a lot of improvising on here, um, on on this as, uh, with like um, layouts and everything. And I've had to and in this you will see me. We build entire sections at times, and before anybody comments down in the comment section, yes, I know this isn't exactly to scale, and some parts of this is bigger than um, other than what it is in like real life, and it, I think is almost everything is at least a little bit different. I think I think there's only like two or three that. Um, I managed to get pretty much one to one uh, uh, bits of this. I managed to get uh, one to one. No, make that uh, three or four um, because I think um, these uh, uh, two bits here. There's these two bits that I'm building um, the frame of right now. I think they, I got those two pretty much spot on. Um, and I'm gonna try to not spoil anything right now because. While most people will get what I'm build, oh, excuse me, what I'm building the framework of right now, um, almost straight away probably. Um, there's people at and so I, so for that, those people's sake, I'm gonna try and not spoil this. I'm also gonna try and not talk for too long. And when I've said everything I need to say, I am going to um, just put some music in here. Um, but yeah, I, if you haven't noticed, if you weren't here for it or, uh, you know, if you're like new to the channel or, uh, you, you were uh, wanting to notice this, but, um, recently I changed my channel name from British Gaming Atheist, which was always supposed meant to be a placeholder and it was the, and it, that wasn't even the first placeholder because I didn't want my na real name. And it's not the fact that it's my real name, it's more the fact what my real name is, it just, it just opens itself to a lot of jokes um, around like video games and stuff, so I just did uh, British Gaming Atheist first, and then I, you hear, then I heard about like there was this other British Gaming Atheist, and he got into like some legal trouble, I think it was, um, so I changed uh, it to British Gaming Atheist again. I did try and think of something else at the time, but 
Um, I just couldn't think of anything at the time. Um, so I just, uh, I, I just had that as a placeholder until I could think of something good. And then uh, recently, I was watching the Dreamcast guy. And I thought of the new channel name, the um, the Switch Nintendo Switch Brit, um, because it is in a similar vein of the Dreamcast guy. And it, um, yeah, and it, yeah, I did, I, um, yeah, did, uh, I chose that because I, I like this, I like the sound of it, and, um, uh, and, um, you know, the Dreamcast, uh, I'm not gonna become only Switch, um, stuff, I'm still gonna be, like, doing stuff about, like, all the consoles when I uh, feel like it. Um, as like the Dreamcast guy doesn't just make videos on the Dreamcast, he also he has made videos on the Switch and, and the, the Xbox and PlayStation. Uh, you know, he's made videos well. He does, I think, he does mainly um, uh, gaming news. Uh, I haven't been watching him for a long time, I just recently um, decided to. I've, I've known for about him for a while, but it's, it's only recently that I started watching him. And it um, is while I was watching one of his videos recently that I had the idea for uh, this channel name. Um, and most of this is going to be uh, to you know uh, like like it is right now, like 2D, like not sticking out. There is only one bit at the end that is 3D, and the reason for that is a couple of reasons. Firstly, I had already spent several hours on this at uh, uh, by the time I got it done. And uh, I didn't want to spend too much more time, and sinking it in would have meant that um, breaking and replacing literally every block. And it was like, nah, it'll be alright if it's uh, 3D, if it's 3D, and then it'll give it a bit of depth. And I think I do like how it's turned out, um, but um, if I had to change anything, it would be. That the fact that I would have planned this out better in the begin in the beginning, because like at the beginning, I went on to weird and I got like this uh, the pixel art I want ha wanted and um, I planned it out basic. I m I had a very rough plan of um, what I wanted to do, and then I took that rough plan and I was like, yeah, let's just make that. I should have if I would to do this again, I would have taken more time to her. Uh, had um, smoothed it out and uh, um, figure everything out, um, and uh, I would have um, built um, what is going to be on the screen of this device. It is pretty. Mu I'm pretty much not going to be able to avoid it right now because I've, I've, I'm on the second Joy-Con. This is a Nintendo Switch that I'm building, and I'm going to have something on the screen. And I would have built the thing that's on the screen before I built the Switch if I do if I did this again, because by these that was probably the thing that gave me the second most amount of trouble. The only thing that gave me more trouble was the very last thing, and that's mainly because of my. Uh, Block selection being so limited, I couldn't get it, get the color scheme exactly how I wanted it. I couldn't get it um, like a one-to-one -one scale on uh, one-to-one -one, like um, accuracy with the colors. And I tried, uh, I did try different uh, blocks, but they re they really weren't any good blocks. Um, so uh, maybe like when. Uh, when they release more blocks, um, and they and they release a block that he, that fits the last pixel art uh, better than um, what I used, then I'll uh, um, probably um, update update it and um, and I might um, even recreate it entirely with a few things changed. Um, but with, but for that, I'd ha I'd have to have help because. Um, this was really long already, and um, something I'm glad I didn't do, but I thought about doing when I um, set out to, to do this, is every block that I'm placing right now, I plan to have that block as a 3x3x3. Three by three by three. Yeah, that would have taken me bleeding forever. Um, so this took me basically two and a half hours. Um... 
So, times that by nine. Um, well, that's 18 and then half times by nine. Uh, uh, four and a half. So, that would have been like 20, that would have been almost been 24 hours to build it. And that's just like a rough, uh, that's just rough calculation off the top of my head. It could, it pro probably could, would have taken even longer um, than that. Um, so yeah. Um, I really, uh, I am really glad that I didn't end up doing it. Otherwise, I it would have been till like till next week that I would have been able to upload this because. Um, I'm still having to like edit it. Like this is times four speed. You can see how long this took me. Uh, you can see how you know how quick it's going by, and still how long it's taking. Um, and you may have noticed that there's no intro, and uh, this uh, and uh, um as well there's not going to be an outro because. Um, I don't feel that like, I don't think I sh I'm gonna put in an outro if there's no intro. Uh, it would just feel a bit weird. Um, that's because with the channel name being changed, the intro needs to be changed because it says, um, like gaming atheist and everything, and it, um, that's obviously not the channel name anymore. So, um, until I get a new intro, which will take an unknown amount of time. Time. It really depends. Oh, yeah, we get to this part. Uh, it really depends on when my friend Discord Gaming or Jack, as I just refer to him, um, when we're playing together, um, even on here, um, he made the intro and outro for me, and I've asked him to remake the intro, and uh, he has agreed to remake the intro for me. Um, and I've said, and uh, um, I did say that it, he doesn't need to do a new outro. But um, I was thinking, like changing up the music, so like um, the intro would have Sp uh, Banjo Kazooie's main theme, and then the outro would have Spiral Mountain, because they're two of my favourite songs in all of Banjo Kazooie. Um, also, don't get too attached to what I'm doing right here, because spoiler alert: this all gets destroyed uh, pretty much uh, in a minute, uh, in not too soon. Um, like I've. I went, I've like destroyed and rebuilt this part so many times. Oh, it was a nightmare. And um, what I should have done is I should have, um, may I should have gotten a pixel art of, um, this, then fit it to the s switch screen or vice versa, you know, just like try, try and do that, and then. And converted uh, everything else into pixel art, and then made those pixel arts fit onto um, the screen um, where I wanted them. But no, I had the bright idea to not convert them all separately, and I also had the bright idea to not properly fit the um, this onto the screen, meaning it took so long to do. Especially because this is a fairly complicated thing to do, so yeah. I did eventually get it to, to a point where it is acceptable. Um, I, I, well, by the time I finished this, I was exhausted. Um, like, so many things went wrong here. Oh, so many things. Uh, like, if I had done this properly, pro properly, it probably wouldn't have taken two and a half hours. It would have probably taken two hours. At least, like, well, no, max. It would have probably taken max two hours if I had uh, done, planned this all out properly and um, not buggered it all up tremendously. Like, yeah. Now, I don't get too attached to how this mushroom looks because, again, this is it's not going to get completely destroyed, but it is going to change. Oh, uh -huh. yeah, no. I'm going to I'm going to fly back in a minute and realize how badly I've messed this. Yeah, 
Not quite realised yet. I've I'm just oh, I, uh, I've messed it up, but I can fix it. Oh wait, no, it's lopsided. So um, well if I do that, no, no but that doesn't look good. Um, uh, what if I do? Uh, yeah, that's that's in the right place. That's uh, yeah. Oh wait, what if I do that? That there, that there, that there. That there break that, place that, but now put that back. Do that, do that, and now that still doesn't look good, so I'm gonna destroy that and bring it down by one. Yeah, that looks good. Like, it still looks a tiny bit off uh, um, where it's probably supposed to be, and again, um, I can always go back and redo these pixel arts properly. Um, but, uh, yeah, I really, um, I really should have. Uh, plan this out better. Oh my god, this this one gave me trouble. Like this one, this part gave me more trouble than the mushroom. Um, and then the two parts after this, I do believe, gave me next to no trouble or no trouble at all. Um, I can't remember exactly what the last two parts are. Um, I don't know. I don't have it saved onto there. Um, what, what, what was this? Uh, stupid. Da, da, da. What was that one? It, what, what was the last one? Uh, oh, wait, hold on. Uh, I think I took a picture of it of, on my Switch so I can um, change the, my channel logo. And the channel logo will probably be changed later on today. Oh, yeah, this, the last, yeah, so there's this one, the next. The, so there was the mushroom, this one, the next two, and then there's a third one that gave me the most trouble. But um, the one in the top right hand corner gave me a little bit of trouble getting the right shape by, and um, with it with um, one of its colours clashing uh, with the background, it did make that a little bit annoying. But yeah, I think this turned out quite well. If I, if I had to, if I changed anything, like if I had, if I went back and modified this again, I'd probably re. Uh, no, actually, now that I'm looking at the mushroom in the in the final picture. It actually doesn't look too bad. It actually looks um, decent. Um, uh, yeah, I think here looks decent. That, uh, um, there's nothing I would really want to change a lot. Again, apart from the final one, which I would change out one of its blocks for a block that suited it a bit better. But unfortunately, that block, um, as it stands, does not currently exist in Minecraft. And then the uh, then I would thin out um, the the um, cross and the cross that to goes like in the center. I would make it's a little bit, a bit thinner, and then I could have probably uh, had it fit. So um, maybe if they ever make structure blocks work in bedrock, I'll um, copy it over and then um, tweak it a little bit. Um, and then if I get it wrong, I don't have to worry about um, uh, f fing it all up. But I am looking at the final product right now, and I am quite happy with it. Like. It's not perfect by any means, but I do like how it has turned out. And uh, looking at it now, I do like that the final pixel art isn't um, sunken in because I do like how it gives it a little bit more depth. Um, and I might even one day change that up so that even the buttons and the thumbstick are 3D. Um, so like the buttons just add like an extra layer to the buttons and then like maybe even make the thumb sticks actual thumb sticks or something um i don't know but yeah um ah there, there is a little the top right hand corner oh that that is gonna bug me now now that i've seen that the top right hand corner is different to all of the other corners but again one day i will probably come back and fix all of the fix everything up and make it so 
that it is, um, you know, better. It looks better and it um, is more accurate and yeah. Because there are, there, it doesn't, it definitely does need tweaking, but it doesn't need completely redesigning. Um, and I do like the design that I have gone for. Um, but yeah. Um, uh, I've, yeah, that's everything. Um, so yeah, I will. The um, I don't know if I said this yet, but the um, the channel logo won't be changed straight away. I'll um. Fit, I'll I'll um, make the logo f uh, first of all because I've made I've built I'm building it here but I need to like um, make it as an image as an image so I need to sort the image out um, which um, I'll do after a little while after uploading this and then I'll give it like an hour or so maybe I'll give it a bit of time and then um, sort out the image and then um, maybe one day in the future. I'll come back to this and um, completely redesign it, but I don't, I really don't want to redesign it right now because I've literally just finished it and redesigning it right now, I wouldn't be able to do it because I'd have to force myself and uh, I don't think if I force myself to do it, it'll turn out good. Um, and I dare say it would probably turn out worse if I force myself to do it. Because I'm just going to be like, oh, I don't really want to do it, but I have to because it's not perfect. Like I said, it is not perfect, but it, it does look decent in my opinion. Um, and I, I have taken a few um, create creative liberties with um, the flag, which you can probably tell by now is the UK flag. Um, which, yeah, it, it was a pain to build. At least I didn't have to do something um, like the American, the the US flag. Like um, at least I didn't have to make that flag because I'd have to build and make sure there's enough room for all the stars, and I'd probably like have to uh, do like a basic star. Yeah, at least it, at least it wasn't like um, like that where where that would have been so much more of a pain in the a hole. Um, but yeah, if I had to do, if I do, if I did this again, I would make, I would start off by making the UK flag as its own pixel art, then um, building a switch around it, then putting the pixel art on, um, and uh, the having and like uh, converting each into a pixel art um, on their own. Um, Cause yeah, I had to go through so much time just destroying, rebuilding, destroying, rebuilding, and tweaking the design. Um, like I could probably, if I, like I said, if I had actually planned this out properly, um, I could have probably built this um, in half the time, at least. Like if I, um, like say, if I only, if I got the image so that. Um, the edges of the image um, were, you know, in line with the edges of the flag instead of like um, I think the actual image. Um, I had a quite I um, was lazy with like capturing the image because I used um, snipping tool and um, to capture the image off word. And I think I got a lot of like the background in it. So um, when I set the um, max height and width, max height to 164 blocks and max width to like. I can't remember exactly what it was, but I think it was something like um, 128 blocks or something like that. Um, uh, it's uh, it counted the background in that as well, so I think I would um, get the um, you know I would get the um, borders right by probably just like. Put it, capturing the image, then putting the image into paint, then um, using paint to um, 
uh, get an accurate area of what I wanted, which is actually quite easy in paint. Then open up a new paint, but make the borders border really like small and then paste the image and then the image would automatically increase the border size to exactly as big as it was then save that as an image and then import that into the pixel art creator and obviously set it um what you call it set it um limits like it how big it can be um, and I, and really I just use this software because it doesn't have like concrete or anything and um, clay which um, it still refers to as terracotta to clay, uh, clay blocks yeah um, clay blocks um, really don't look anything like the uh, concrete um, I just use it as like okay so um, this is how many pixels or blocks I need to go this way, this way, this way. I'll make it this color, that color, this color. Uh, or use this block, that block, this block. <laughs> yeah, you can see here I had to move um, it, uh, move the center of it. I think, it was, yeah, three blocks to the left. And I had to, oh my god, just moving it three blocks to the left. Oh, I could have re- I sure- I really should have just thought this out a lot better. Like, the, I've gone this far- yeah, I've- how long have I been recording? I've been recording for this for 25 minutes, and we're- we're- no, oh, we're, we're closer to the end than we are to the beginning, thankfully. And most of this is just me complaining about how stupid past me was when building this. Like, comment section, feel free to bl blast me because I, uh, I don't think I've uh, said anything here that, um, the comment section can say because, uh, I haven't said anything the comments can say about how stupid, um, the execution of this was. But again, um, <laughs> when I redo this, um, like, when I refine the design a bit, um, I don't know, maybe next year, maybe the year after, whenever I feel like... Um, it does need doing, uh, maybe, what, maybe when I hit 100 subscribers, I'll do a live stream where I just completely redo this. Um, yeah, that, that's, that's a deal. At 100 subscribers, I will completely, well, not completely, but I will fix this. I will, um, I, well, yeah, I'll, po I'll probably completely, re I'll probably rebuild it from scratch and just, like, I'll just fix everything that's wrong with this. Um, also, fun fact here, um, I've just been listening to a bit of Banjo-Kazooie music um, in Smash Bros. And something interesting I've seen, in at least in the music, the Jiggy is the wrong way. Um, I, well, I'm pretty sure I've got my Jiggy the right way. Um, so my Jiggy here, you can see that the, um, the bits that um, you slot um, another Jiggy into are at the bottom and uh, and the left, where in the smart and you know the bits that slot into another Jiggy are in the top and right. But in the, the Smash Bros thing, the hollow bits are in the bottom and right and top and left. I I'm pretty sure that's not how um, it's supposed to be. Like I am just gonna go check Banjo and Kazooie's. Um, logo that they use to represent them, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same there as well, so let me just go smash, smash, um, any, uh, yeah, it's, it's the same for Spiral Mountain, and it, uh, if we get into here, it's the same for Banjo and Kazooie, like, do I have the wrong logo? Do they have the wrong... Well, do they have the jiggy the wrong way round? Do I have the jiggy the wrong way round? Who has the jiggy the wrong way round? Because... Hold on, let me get my Nintendo 64 cartridge. Do they show a jiggy on that? Do they... Where's my Banjo-Kazooie cartridge? It's gonna be in here somewhere. Is, it, is this one of those Berenstein, Berenstein bears... ...thing? Tetrisphere. Ah. Uh, top Top Gear Valley. 
Ah, Banjo Kazooie. It does have a G on it, but it's covered by the Nintendo uh, seal of approval. And there's no other jiggies on the car cartridge. But the jiggy is all. Yeah, the jiggy on the cartridge, while it is a bit covered, uh, I can still see what orientation it is in. And it's sort of on its corner with the um, in a, with the bits that you slot another jiggy into it on the bottom and left, and the bits that, and the bits of the jiggy that you slot into another jiggy on the top and right. So I do, according to the N64 cartridge, I'm right and Sakurai is wrong. Um, so yeah. So anybody who left that comment saying, Oh, you got the jiggy the wrong way round. Shut up. I'm the one that got it the right way round. Sakurai got it the wrong way round. Go spam him on Twitter saying, Sakurai, you got the, the jiggy the wrong way round. Don't come to my channel and tell me lies. Tell me lies. Tell me sweet little lies. Uh, every soul contains a spell. Um, yeah, but what I probably should do is um, go through why I picked the um, pixel art specifically. Um, and each one basically has the same reason. Um, and that's not just me being late. Lazy, not being, not um, caring to think up of um, a reason. I, I've not just lazily slapped them in there. I do actually have a reason, and they're all for the same reason. So it's it's mainly because I enjoy all of these. The, each pixel art is from a game series, and all of these games I enjoy. Yeah. Um, so you've we've had the Jiggy from Badger Kazooie, we've had the Mushroom from Mario. And uh, I am currently doing. <gasps> oh, excuse me. I am currently doing the tri, the Triforce from Legend of Zelda. While I have, while I admittedly has have not played many Legend of Zelda games, and I've comp, and I've even beaten only one. I think. I think I've played Oot and Majora's Mask on uh, my 3DS, and never got around to beating them. Um, I did play them, and I, I did enjoy that. I did enjoy them. They do look really good, but um, well, at least for the time they did. I can't. Oh, I can't go back to the 3DS anymore after being on the Switch. Um, I uh, just um, just really uh, do love my Breath of the Wild, though. I I need to 100% that uh, in like a million years because that's probably how long it's going to take me because uh, I need to do all the side quests, I need to get all the coaxes, I need to do all the shrines, I need to do everything. Um, and here's the final one. You can probably tell um, probably um, what it's going to be. Um, and it, uh, uh, yeah, I, like I, this, I didn't get the shape for this right the first time, and I did, um, I did change it and squash it down a bit, and um, to make it look a bit better. Cause um, as it's looking right now, it looks a bit like an egg. Um. So yeah, the, if you can't tell, um. This is the Smash Bros logo, and I do love Smash Bros. Um, I, and yeah, I've been playing Banjo and Kazooie, and they are like the most fun characters I've ever played. And I'm actually quite happy with how good they are because they're not as good as like Bayo was in the, um, Smash Four. Like I know Bayo um, in Smash Four wasn't basically an insta win. Um, just by using her, but uh, um, most people thought she was an insta win. So uh, whenever you used Bayo, you would have, you people would have said, "Oh, you're not using her because you like her. You're using her because she's good." Um, and uh, I'm glad that Banjo and Kazooie aren't like that because nobody's gonna say, be like, "Oh, you're just using Banjo and Kazooie because they're the best characters in the game." No, no. It's just like you're using Banjo and Kazooie because you find them fun to play, and or like me, 
um, you're a fan of the uh, Banjo and Kazooie series, and we're just so really happy when they were finally announced. Um, and it, uh, uh, I do actually feel um, sorry for the people who actually did want to use Bayo in Smash Four, but you know they just got to um, you know they couldn't use it without being called um, you know basically being called a tier list picker or whatever you call it. You know people are, who only pick who they play based off them um, how good they are in the game. Like um, you can probably tell. By my playstyle, because I use the C stick way too much when I'm playing Smash Bros. But I use, and yeah, actually, I, I made uh, videos on this. I used to main Lil Mac in Smash 4 and uh, for quite a while in Ultimate. And then I, um, and then I, I don't really main, like, I don't, well, I do main characters, but I don't stay with a main character for very long. I like to switch it, switch it up, switch to a different character, because each character is unique and has different play styles and it, um, yeah that's what so I usually switch my switch up um, what characters I'm using um, just as you know because I've that's how how I you know that's how I have the most amount of fun um, and it, uh, yeah well 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 um, yeah uh, so yeah, the hill mark. Oh, we got nerfed and buffed when just ultimate release. Like seriously, hmm. My little Mac was quite good at one point in time. Um, back when it was just Smash Bros on the 3DS, and that, um, you had limited amount of buttons. So um, that's where little Mac shine. Like if you're if you're playing on 3DS, I guess someone on the free else on the 3DS, Little Mac, um, at least at the launch of the game, was legitimately one of the best characters because of limited buttons. Um, yeah, limited buttons. So, yeah, and then there was a nerf Little Mac, and then Little Mac got nerfed, and he never recovered from the nerf. So. Yeah, buff the little Mac. Um, but yeah, when I uh, looked at this, I was like, yeah, there's not really any good colours that I can use here. So I decided to uh, try um, blue, um, because that's what I thought would be closest. And uh, um, then I just increased the eyes, and then I took another step back, and I was like, no, I really don't like that blue. So I try. I thought, how about purple wool and concrete powder? So I tried the wool first, and... Uh, um, uh, and while, while I was building, I was like, oh, I'm not too sure about this. And it, uh, um, when I finished it, I took a step back and I was like, yeah, I'm not too sure about this. Uh, and I'm still, again, uh, if if um, new block set would fit better for Drift, Drift Brim's lower half com comes out, then, I, then I'll definitely use them. Maybe purple, I don't know. Um... I'll probably try a few more blocks um, in the meantime, but again, I, I probably won't design this until I hit 100 subscribers. So if you want me to tweak this design and it, um, you know sort it out, uh, um, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, share this with all your friends. Um, and I think that's actually where the video's ended. Shit. Uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.